All right, YouTube, 116 Falcon here. Okay, we're going to finally install that uh, Boss uh, head unit in uh, in this uh, 03 Mustang. So first I got to get the old the old uh, stereo out. So you just you come in with this console and you just pull it back. Into your hands. Come on, pig. Take your selector knob off, or your shift knob. Jesus, it's a long-winded son of a bitch. Now we got to disconnect the cigarette lighter. Let's see here. Now let me go get a little screwdriver. Now we get the two nine thirty seconds bolts there. So let me go get a uh, or nuts or bolts. So let me go get the proper tool. Okay, so I wasn't able to find my quarter inch ratchet, but you know I got my proper size bit, and I'm just gonna channel lock it, get it out. I'll find the, my ratchet when I go to put the crap back in. I mean, I have like uh, 10 ratchets. Don't know where they are. <laughs> There's the old head unit out. All right, so I must have been asleep for like several freaking decades. Um, 
we got the here's the uh, boss here's the stock unit that came out the stock head unit okay apparently that car has a uh, Mach 460 sound system in it so prior to knowing that went to Wally World and got this uh, stereo connector here this Goshi or whatever it's called FDK 106 stereo connector because it had the plug that looked like what came off the back of the stock unit the main plug all right um, it fits I think every car ever made except for the one we need because you'll see here Mustang with premium sound to 2000 so apparently that's the wrong one and, and the other one they sell for a car with premium sound won't work on that either all right so just so you know that all right so I called Crutchfield spoke to a dude there told him what was going on and uh, he got really freaking stupid with me on the phone he's telling me eh, we're not here to uh, to uh, troubleshoot um, the competition's products and I'm like look, look dude you know I bought the wrong thing I need to buy the right thing and he's like well you should have bought it for me in the first place blah blah so I'm like you know what screw you so I went to our local uh, stereo shop here car stereo installation shop now believe me here where we live you know, if you're Amish and and you uh, blow one of the wooden wheels in your buggy, there's like three shops that'll make you a new wooden wheel within hours. But uh, to get something for a car stereo or something, forget about it. We got one shop. Went there. This is what they told me I needed right here. All right. It's the uh, Metra 705519. All right which is you know fine and dandy I was like cool man you know they overnighted it you know didn't didn't cost me anything extra 17 bucks for the for the adapter this was like 11 at Walmart um, so the main plug here for the head unit will plug in here so this plugged in this didn't it all right there was nowhere near size fitting for that um, so, oh, the other thing I want to show you real quick, in case you're, uh, they never used to do this back in the day, but these harness adapters are all, uh, it tells you exactly what each wire is for. Let's see if we can see this. What's it? Illumination. Um, you know, I mean, just. So they're basically idiot proof 12 volt battery um so you have all the directions right on the wires even the one from wally world's the same way has everything you need right on the freaking wires like the red one 12 volt ignition the yellow one constant 12 volt constant all right so freaking idiot proof so anyways so after that didn't work I was like you know what screw it I called Crutchfield back talked to some dude it was it was really good and uh, what we got here is what I thought we needed in the first place ordered this um, this kit right here see it has a three connectors bam 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 the Metra 70 5701 um, then they say apparently I need this AFDI 5 volt 12 volt to 5 volt converter to stop the amplifier from popping when you turn it on and then they uh, told me I should try these I was gonna solder everything up but apparently these posi products the dude said they're better than solder they, they hold well they hold just as well but you can take them apart so we'll give that a try um, we're gonna install this um, head unit just normally with the with the car's built-in subwoofer system all right but then we also have the uh, Rockford Fosgate uh, powered subwoofer that we're going to install after okay YouTube so you can see here we finally got the correct harness adapter okay got it through Crutchfield now I could have got it for like a total of nine dollars cheaper through Amazon but you know Crutchfield in case you got to call them you know I figured what the hell um, 
the two fit here. This is going to be subwoofer or whatnot. This is the uh, main radio thing. Now the third plug here for here uh, doesn't fit. And also this is just for uh, power antenna. Which uh, you got power antenna and mute. So um, this car doesn't have power antenna. So what I'm going to do is unplug this stuff, go in and uh, wire these up with them uh, posi lock connectors or whatever they're called. They look pretty cool, so we'll be back. Alright, so the, we're back here with the car here. and um, The biggest thing I think, all right, the main harness all right, that goes into in here is pretty cut and dry because everything is is labeled you know right speaker left speaker you know front rear blah 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 um, the biggest thing is is uh, the subwoofers All right, which is on this plug here um, okay this plug right here so the way I currently have it wired up all right, is the the two blue off the subwoofer plug? They say amp on. They're going into the power antenna off from the head. All right, the power antenna, um, and then the two grounds, which are black with a white stripe, they go into the uh, the harness adapter it has a black and white wire that is specifically uh, amplifier ground all right so you use that um, now if you did have to use this converter okay I mean it's pretty simple hookup you take the um, the blue and white wires from this converter here as you can see the directions here and you take you take the two amplifier on wires here connect that to the blue and white wire on your converter the black will go to ground all right just like just like normal it'll go to the go to the, to this ground and then the um, the blue and red will go to um, it'll go to the antenna off the head unit, the antenna wire that currently we're using to power the the subwoofers. All right, so you take the blue and white, hook that up to these two off from the harness adapter. You know, use these these freaking posi locks or whatever they're called. They're freaking awesome. Um, so you hook them three together. You take the blue and the red, and then hook it into this power antenna lead off from the head unit. All right, and then black to ground. Simple as that. Bam, done. So, I mean, it's really easy install. Um, once we get it all tucked in there. I think I've covered about every freaking thing I can. Um, although I haven't hooked the subwoofer up to the front um, jacks, because what we're doing here is we're also installing a uh, Rockford powered subwoofer, which I'm going to use this subwoofer uh, adapter for. So I'm going to try hooking it up there and we'll see what happens. All right, so now I hooked the subwoofer, the stock subwoofer cables to the front out RCA jacks on the head unit. <coughs> so let's see what uh, what happens here. Oh, son of a shit bag! All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get a pop here. All right. Still no pop. 
let's see how the sound is. We'll we'll readjust the the um, Gun. And then we'll shut it off and see what happens here. Well, first we'll see how the put the sub. So we'll shut it off. H one's still rocking up there. Let's uh, see if we get our pop now. Well, obviously still no friggin' pop, so, um... Alright, well, I guess that's it. So, I mean, if you gotta get it, it's easy to hook up. I don't know if we need it or not, we'll probably keep it, because, I mean, it won't be that hard to... the hell? Um, won't be that hard to to uh, hook it up anyway so all right well once I get this fully installed we'll be back all right so I'm trying to get this freaking Mustang put back together uh, we got the mounting kit that Metra 955026 for this uh, 03 Mustang you can see here we snapped in at the bottom but here, we're like a quarter inch away from making contact, and this won't go back. So what I'm thinking, even though I measured the uh, that bracket in the back, made it the same as stock, that I gotta drop that all. I mean, put that all the way to the bottom, because I think this head unit has got to tilt back. Um, so I'm gonna try that, and okay, so. I pulled it out, and you say I ran the this here that that slotted thing just above, you know, like an eighth inch from there to the bottom of the of the head unit. But what I had to do, I'm just going one screw now. All right, uh, we'll see how that works. All right, so you can see here, I put that slid move that up I was able to get the head unit in and get the trim in here see everything's nice and tight right where it needs to be all right YouTube so we got everything fit in here now everything's done the trim well I still haven't put this knee thing back up I'm gonna do that after um, I'll show you here here's the stock radio I don't know if you can see how far up that slide is but with the boss you have to be about halfway between that and the deck so you, that's like uh well it's over a quarter inch up maybe like five sixteenths you got to be down like an eighth of an inch on the boss and then your your uh shit will snap in so while we're here i thought we'd go over uh, a few things um the uh microphone for bluetooth all right, which I totally forgot about earlier. So I just ran that thing up here on the dash. I'm gonna, I think we're just gonna stick it right up here. Um, what I did is just loosen up these two 
two uh, torque heads there and then just tuck the wire in all the way around and then down underneath and in the back and you know I might screw it good enough because this thing's been a pain in the sack man so anyways there's the radio emergency brakes off all right there's my pop I'm not driving so nobody worry about that um, so the radio volume is a lot louder than the CD volume which it may just be the way the CD's burnt but I mean you know that's only up there and it's really loud now if I use my subwoofer I don't know if you can hear the difference but it disc yeah radio volume is a lot higher um, there should be that freaking hollow note CD in here of course I think this is, is an mp3 it's reading as mp3 so that's probably why the volume is so much lower so. That's all tweak and you can do afterwards so we'll eject that I'll uh, throw uh, a DVD in here and now this is with loudness off bass boost off and everything I gotta tell you man the freaking thing is <laughs> that's freaking ass loud man it's, it's too loud. Well, don't tell the freaking whiny complainer down the street. But um, all right, so here's let's see. So if we hit play movie, and then you know the the. Uh, Everything needs to be adjusted up. You know, I ain't gonna take the time to do all that bullshit. And just pay the S enough to get this in here. I mean, if it was me, I'd be good enough, you know. But, uh, so you see, that's working. All right. Um, let's try to skip a track. I don't know how you skip tracks. Get some dialogue one in here of course I think this is subtitled isn't it we'll turn the bass down all right well you get the point um, We'll do home. I don't know how this this freaking remote is a pain in the freaking ass, man. Uh, oh, let's make a phone call. So you see where I got the mic right there. So this thing, once you pair your phone with it, it'll automatically pair. Um, once you, you know, once that's on. So let me call my kid whose car this belongs to. See what he has to say about things. Hello? Hey. Hey. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me good? Yeah. All right. 
What are you doing? Hanging out with your, you hanging out with your boyfriend? <laughs> what are you doing? Working on your stupid car. Checking out oh, the no, uh, checking out the phone. Yeah, no, so. I can hear you good. All right, all right, hang up. All right, yeah. all right love you, bye. All right, so that worked. So if we hit disk. We'll get back into that. I mean, it's not the fastest system in the world, but you know, whatever. Some, need some adjusting, but speaker there. I'm gonna take the uh, double sided tape off and stick it up in there. Good. All right, well, if you got any questions, uh, ask. If you don't, whatever. And uh, if you're gonna leave negative comments or whatever, have a sack so I can answer you back. All right, bitches, see ya.